Hi, it's George here, your local AI specialist from Aotearoa, New Zealand. At the moment, Nvidia has an absolute stranglehold for hardware that runs large AI models. ChatGPT is powered by data centers that are filled of clusters of Nvidia GPUs. And if you think that an RTX 4090 is expensive, wait until you see the kind of prices that these specialized AI hardware that runs at these data centers use. Sure. Chatting to ChatGPT only uses a small slice of that GPU. However, you can only slice a $50,000 GPU so much. Now, there hasn't been any serious publications on how much it costs to automate serious tasks for a business using GPT-4. However, to put costs into perspective, it costs OpenAI $700,000 a day to run ChatGPT. And you can bet that already includes that Microsoft Buddy discount that you won't be getting. If Nvidia's monopoly over AI hardware is here to stay, then I'm afraid this is going to be unsustainable, which is the reason why there are talks of specialized AI hardware. But unless we see drastic improvements in either performance or efficiency and or costs, we're not going to see any adoption. And we already know how that last one looks at the moment. But recently, this paper dropped, and it intrigued me, because for anyone who understands the vague connection between linear algebra and AI, it's immediately obvious what optimization they're trying to abuse just by looking at the first page. But the bottom line is that they've managed to shrink Llama seven times in terms of memory usage, and sped up the execution of the model by four times, and somehow not incur any noticeable loss in the quality of its output according to benchmarks. What? Now I really wish this paper dropped after I produced my video on embedding space for dummies as it would make a lot of sense as to why this optimization is important. But the only thing you need to know is that all AI computation boils down to is matrix multiplication. Matrix multiplication is an operation that a lot of researchers have spent time optimizing because they are used everywhere from graphics, all the way to scientific computation. And that's precisely the reason why they run so well on NVIDIA GPUs. Now, matrix multiplication can be just boiled down to arithmetic operations, addition, multiplication on floating point numbers. Now this paper says that AI, or at least language models, can be simplified even further. And basically all computations can be boiled down to simply addition on fixed point numbers. Now, if you know anything about computer hardware, then you'll know how big of an optimization this could potentially lead down to. FPUs are huge and complicated circuits, even though they're pretty mature now. But a fixed point adder, that is so simple, you can make that with a few transistors. The radical simplification of the hardware architecture means that speed and efficiency gains for specialized AI chips could be drastic. And that is precisely the reason why that this research provides a clean sheet opportunity for all these other hardware chip companies to make specialized AI chips. Even without waiting for new hardware to come out, there is potential benefits applying this research to existing hardware. And especially in my case, because I have a single RTX 3090. And with this research, we can shrink a Llama 70 billion parameter model which is the largest Llama model, down to something that can fit on my graphics card. And that means I can get a large language model with greater than GPT 3.5 performance locally. When specialized hardware does become available, I can envision that size model fitting on a phone along with Stable Diffusion XL. The real breakthrough here is that they've, and I'm hypothesizing here, managed to bring down the minimum memory requirements required to fine tune or train a large language model from scratch. As what they've done in this paper is that they've basically trained Llama from scratch as a quantized model, quantized down to one trip. Yes, you heard me right. One trip is one ternary digit. And um, it really baffles me that if it's as easy as what this paper implies or what I'm thinking, that this hasn't been done before. Because even if we take the smallest Llama model, the seven billion parameter version, I have to take the 16-bit float full-fat version in order to fine-tune it. 
And that model will take up to 30 gigabytes of VRAM at runtime during training, which means realistically I cannot train it on my one 3090. And you'll need like an A100 or two 3090s. And for even larger models, this is more important because you'll need like multiple A100s. These caveats make it next to impossible to democratize the training process of AIs, which I think is far more important than just being able to run them. However, this paper strangely omits to mention how much memory it takes to train an AI, just how much memory it takes to run them. I find the training part to be more important. So this is kind of the reason why I will reserve my judgment for now. I will wait until a one trip model becomes available for download so that I can run on my computer or someone else manages to duplicate their research. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video.